YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy DJ General representing D and D Gaming, and we had some domination gameplay on the map Bio Lab. Um, I believe it's like the fourth game I played online. Um, and, it, and when I tell you, it's really easy to rank up in this game. It is pretty easy, man. It's, it's ridiculous. I couldn't believe how fast you can rank up in this gameplay. Um, I believe I was like a level 15 or something like that. So you see me taking B right here, man, trying to get this early flag capture and stuff like that, man. I believe this is a two-part uh, game. Uh, this is just the first half and the second half. Uh, we're going to be switching sides. Trying to get these flags, man. But it's hard. Domination has always been a hard game uh, game mode for me. Ever since the modern modern warfare three days, man. Because, I don't know. I just I was never a fan of it. Um, but, you know, my thing is team deathmatch, man. Team deathmatch has always been my favorite game mode ever since I started playing Call of Duty. And that was like a while ago. Um, I started playing uh, Call of Duty World at War. Um, it was my first online gameplay experience man I, I had really i had a lot of fun and uh and i've been following call of duty ever since man so um i know i don't have too many call of duty subscribers and stuff like that and most of you guys that are watching this video y'all yeah, mostly play madden and 2k and stuff like that um I might be still posting Madden videos, but not not as much as I'm gonna do Call of Duty, because I'm gonna post another video to uh, later today. I'm gonna post a team deathmatch, uh, is, which is a pretty good game, and definitely want to stay tuned for that. Um, I'm just I'm just not it. I'm just not feeling Madden anymore. Um, it's not because I'm losing. It's just because of the game in general, man. It just takes a toll on you, man. Uh, like I said, this get this year's game was like terrible. Like it, it was literally terrible. And I just, I just stopped playing it, man. I just never had the urge to play it, man. So my focus right now has always been on Call of Duty. And right there, I should have had a kill right there. But um, that's definitely one of my main focuses, trying to get better at Call of Duty. Um, I'm a good player. I'm, I'm just, I'm decent at times. You know, I have my good days that, and every, and I have my bad days, like everybody in the world. Um, as you see me trying to capture this flag by myself, as I probably do right here. Yeah, actually I do. I get a kill right there. Luckily I got a kill right there, man, but, um, I, f I haven't figured out my favorite weapon yet. Um, I'm still deciding which one is my favorite weapon. Uh, it's just, like I said, it's a, it's a variety of weapons they have on this game, and I haven't tried them all out. That's what I'm trying to do in these gameplays. Trying to figure out which what, what, uh, weapon that I'm comfortable with and what weapon I'm not comfortable with. So I end up switching, I end up switching guns right here. Uh, I end up switching to the BAL-27, which is probably my second favorite. Um, I have a weapon that's my first, but I, for I forgot what it was. It's not the AK-12, but this BAL-27 with the red dot sight and uh, silencer, is, it's pretty good, man. Um, as I, I don't know what I was doing there, but uh, th it, this is a pretty good gun, man. I believe this is the first gun that you start out with when you first uh, start playing online in Call of Duty. Uh, definitely the first game there. Also, man, my Colts end up winning on Monday night. If you haven't watched Monday Night Football, pretty much a blowout win, man. We end up winning a huge by, by like at least 20, a 30, 20, 25 or something like that. Um, we're going against Madden Five Points, uh, New York Giants, man. Uh, football Giants. Uh, they put it. They tried to put up a fight, man. Uh, definitely, our defense was stepping up, man. And, and uh, it was funny because Gruden, the commentator, was uh, giving the Giants pointers. I guess they weren't watching the game. I guess at halftime, but um, just running trips formations. They didn't really run trips to formation till like the beginning of the third quarter, uh, which is what. Well, we just stepped up a little bit, man. Uh, Beckham Jr. had a catch on, uh, I believe it was third down or fourth down, and he dropped the ball, and the Giants had to get off the field. And it was just, it was tough to see, man, because, you know, uh, it, was, it was just really unfortunate that happened to them. Um, but uh, Andrew Luck did a pretty good job, man. He had a couple close calls, like every game. Uh, every game he has a close call trying to get a uh he almost threw an interception, but uh, again, he had over 300 yards passing, man, which is always good for us, man. Keeping, uh, keep on, our, keep going on our offense. T. Y. Houghton had a big day. Um, he, he <laughs> actually, Angela almost threw a pick, but luckily T. Y. Houghton stripped it away from uh, Antoine uh, Carmardi. <laughs> Which is unbelievable, man. I couldn't believe it when I saw it. Uh, he just threw it up. And uh, luckily, T.Y. Hill ended up getting the catch right there. So I, that was a crazy catch. Uh, what was crazy? Uh, my man, Kobe Fleener, man, he had a crazy catch as well. Um, 
going to the sidelines, man. They could have they could have reviewed it, but uh, Tom Coughlin he tried to get it out of the he put it in his sock. <laughs> he had the challenge flag in his sock. He, he tried to take it out, but it was too late. And uh, we ended up getting the playoff, getting the first down, and continue moving on in the game, man. So we had a couple of lucky breaks, man. I couldn't believe that really happened, but it, it, it was it was just a, a crazy game. Uh, but luckily, we end up getting a win. So heading into our bye week, and then after our bye week, uh, as you see, it's halftime right here. We're gonna get into the second game. Um, we play the New England Patriots at home, which is a huge, huge game for us. Um, I, I can't tell you if we're gonna win or not um, because it's, it's it's gonna be a definitely a good game. But you know, I'm gonna be rocking with my boys. Um, I'm definitely gonna be rolling with my Colts, man, in the game. So see what we could do. I mean, we all we have to do really is contain Gronkowski, which is pretty a uh, huge task to deal with. Um, but he, uh, but Tom Brady also got some other weapons, man. The running game is not as bad as it was last year. Um, we just got to go in, just go in there and study some film. Um, just try to get some some things under. Uh, uh, what am I trying to say? <laughs> just try to figure, just try to figure them out in general, man. Um, I haven't been watching the NBA too much, uh, because I, I've just been focused on Call of Duty. Like I said, I've been playing Call of Duty all night till like around one, one thirty in the morning. Then I stop playing, you know, just trying to rank up, man, trying to get a, my my uh, first prestige. Um. Uh, you, if y'all don't know, my favorite team is the Washington Wizards, man. Uh, they're local. They're locally my hometown team, man. Uh, definitely here in Virginia, we got a lot of Wizards games, a lot of Wizards fans out here. So, uh, and also my uh, my uh, uncle, my late uncle is also a Wizards fan. So, uh, so uh, definitely, um, definitely a fan of the Wizards, man. Uh, I believe the the last time I uh, watched the Wizards, man, I believe they won their last game. And it was, I believe, was it against the Knicks? I believe it was against the Knicks. I don't know if they won or lost that game. But um, I watched it for a little bit, and then I clicked off. Oh, um, the election. Uh, I don't know if you guys are into the political stuff like that, but um, my mom, uh, my best friend's mom is into it. And uh, we was over at her house and watching that as you get a nice knife kill right there. Uh, that's something different this year. This knife kill, man, it's definitely with your left hand. You just swipe some for some reason. It's pretty dope. Um... Uh, I don't know who won the Senate for uh, Virginia, man. If y'all haven't, uh, if y'all don't watch it, man, let me know in the comments below who won, because I forgot. I fell asleep, man. I know that uh, Mark Warner. It was between Mark Warner and Ed Gillespie. Mark Warner was in the lead. Um, I mean, excuse me, Ed Gillespie was in the lead. For the, pretty much the entire, entire uh, voting election, man. And we didn't get the votes till late. And then uh, later, later towards getting to, towards the end, Mark Warner ended up, uh, believe, getting the lead by uh, by a million, I believe it was something like that. Um, so let me know in the, in the comments below, man, if y'all know know anything about the po uh, po uh, political election this year, man. Uh, let me know who won in Virginia, man. Uh, I hope Ed Gillespie did because I I voted for him. Uh, no, no, what am I talking about? What? I mean, uh, Mark Warner. I voted for Mark Warner. Uh, I want to. I just want to say Ed Gillespie for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, he's just his name been popping up everywhere on the commercials. So no more political commercials, man. Definitely, that's a good thing for us. And you still see me rocking with this Battle 27, man. Like I said before, it's one of my best weapons, man. Uh, since, excuse me, my second best weapon. I um, mean, it is the first game that you get, man. Uh, uh, what I was want to talk about to you guys, man. Definitely, um, shout out to the D and D uh, gaming crew, man. Definitely go subscribe to them, man. And uh, I'm trying to get Wayne six five seven eight and Black Chaos to play Call of Duty Ghosts. I mean, let's Call of Duty Ghosts. Wow, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, man. So if y'all want them to play Advanced Warfare, man, go go to their channels in the description below, and uh, go tell them that. Uh, just go tell them, man, you got to play Call of Duty, man. Uh, I've been trying to get them to play Call of Duty since Call of Duty Ghost, I believe. Um, they they haven't played it in a while, as I call it, my, uh, my care package. I'm just trying to get them to play it, man. Uh, definitely, it's a, it's a fun game. They commented in my video before. Um, this game is actually fun, man. It definitely, with these boot, with this boost jumping, is like I believe it's the funnest part of this game. Just jumping around like it's Halo, man. It's just a fun experience. Um, it, it's really, it's, I really can't describe this game, and this game is just, is it looks really good. Um, it, it moves re pretty good. Um, as I sit this turret down. Um, 
And, you know, I, I want a lot of my D and a lot of the D and D crew members to play this game, man. Just try it out. Um, you may not be good at it, but just try it out, man. It's definitely a fun experience. You're definitely gonna have a lot of fun. Um, and a lot of shotguns, a sniper rifle. Well, I seen the. It's not really much sniper rifles, um, but it's more shotguns, man. But it is what it is, man. You gotta do what you gotta do to get the kills. But you see, we're still losing the 194 to 106, man. We got 25 seconds to go, left to go, man. As we see, we capture all the flags right here, man. So we're doing. Oh, it's pretty much too late to come back but you know we just do what we can and now uh, right here you see him camping over the top of the roof right there so if y'all like this video man make sure y'all definitely like comment subscribe man i'm trying to get some more views on this call of duty man I'm, I'm i am i know i'm mostly known for madden um but i'm just trying to switch things up a little bit and i think i would do good in this call of duty but we end up losing right here 194 to 123 until next time it's your boy d the general i'm signing out but we end up getting on top top of the leaderboards right here is you get a nice kill up top right there uh we end up going 28 and 11 so i'm out y'all peace